Uh, we got Bruce and Wayne here with Florida native Ruben Hippolyte. I heard the Locks have a helicopter when he went down there to recruit you. Yeah, well, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it was crazy, uh, you know, being in high school, you know, you pulling up in a helicopter, land on our field, football field, practice field. Uh, it's, it's definitely a good sight to see. Um, you know, you, you, you like to show up. You know. Other players go crazy? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Players, my uh, classmates, my teammates, you know, they, they were all in shock. So, you know, we made, we made a big scene. So, uh, tell us about your new defensive coach, and of course, you've got Coach Zook in there now as well. Tell us about any of the changes you, you expect to see. I mean, you certainly are one of the teacher linebackers. So, how does the teacher linebacker look at it? Well, I feel like the changes we'll see, um, I'll say like a change of mentality. Um, both Coach Stewart and Coach Luke, uh, they, they bring a lot of mental, you know, gems um, to the team and to the defense side of the ball. Um, they have they have great information. You know, they've been in the game for a long time, and you know they, they have a lot of insights and different aspects how they see things, and it just helps them as a whole, as a, you know, as a whole defense. What do you think of the facility? Oh, I love it. I love it. Leave it up there. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Um, you know, like you probably heard from other players. You know, we we got there. to see it. Yeah, for sure. Like I'm there, I'm there every day. I, I don't leave. You know, if I. Defensive backfield linebackers, yeah. defensive line guys are telling me they're constantly bad. Nobody's going to run through this anymore. Uh, you got that same deal? Well, definitely. Um, most importantly, though, I'm looking uh, forward to the fans coming out. Um, you know, that was a piece. That was a piece that we were missing last season with COVID. And you know, just to see the fans back. Um, you know, just to hear the noise again. You know, being out there making plays. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm excited for all that. that that's all a big part of the game. What? First game, you have a full house here, Wayne. Go ahead. I hope so. What changed between that Northwestern game and about halftime of the Minnesota game? After that, for the rest of that season, you guys looking at a different defense. Um, well, really, it, 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 was, it was style of play and our mentality. You know, um, how we approach the game from that point on, we really buckled down as a unit. Yep. And, you know, we just improved our style of play. We, and we just changed our mentality from, the, from from that game forward. And, you know, it's been different ever since. It has been. How strong was it with Penn State's bump? Uh, well, that's was, my yeah. question. You can't take that. Sorry, I had to ask him. It was a great game, but you know, um, like any game, we just take it one, we just take it one game at a time. You know, yeah. when you execute, good things happen, and you know that's what we did. That All right, thank you. Uh, you still on the number eleven jersey? Yes, sir. We're looking forward to you having no. a great season. Appreciate you. Thank you.